Hello, hello, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Many blessings to you and your families. I thank God for this wonderful day. Christmas Day, December 25th, 2021. Hallelujah and praise the Lord. I give him the praise, honor, and glory for his goodness, for he is worthy to be praised. So I just had to come on here, you know, because I know as many of you who are probably at home by yourself, you didn't have anybody to share Christmas with, and you're kind of feeling down, you know? So just know that if you see God spend time with him, he'll fill you with everything that you desire, everything that you're missing. He'll heal that wound that's in your heart, that broken heart. He'll heal it. He'll fill it with love and joy, you know? So I give him the praise, honor, and glory for his goodness. Father, I just thank you for this day, for breathing breath in our bodies, waking us up to see a new one, for your son, his death, burial, and resurrection. Father, I just thank you for blessing us to see a new one, Father. Even though the year is almost out, Father, I know that you can do what you say you will do for your people, for your children, before the year is complete, before it's over with. Because your timing is not like man's. Your timing is not like man's, so you can do, in a blink of an eye, what may take us years and years to complete. So I prophesy that word over somebody. Whatever you're desiring for, whatever you've been praying for, whatever God has promised you, I prophesy that before this year is complete, you're going to receive what it is that you've been believing and hoping for, that the Lord has told you is for you. It will be yours, and it will be before 2021 is complete. In Jesus' name. So just believe by faith and receive it. And agree on it. Because I come into agreement with you. If it's in the will of God, I come into agreement with you. But today I just had to come on here and just, you know, oh, I'm going to ask God, thank you, Lord, use me. Decrease me, increase you and me. Give me, give your people an ear to hear and a heart to receive whoever this word is for. Let it fall on good ground, Abba. Hallelujah. And anything that's not of you, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke it and cast it and send it to the pits of hell where it belong, burn down. Any evil office and wickedness by your judge of fire. And welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. Hallelujah. <laughs> so y'all, oh y'all, don't forget to go subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel so you can get more of the ministry, you know, more of God's word. Hallelujah. My YouTube channel and to my, um, my podcast, Ambassador for Christ. They're both called Ambassador for Christ, the YouTube channel and the um, podcast. Hallelujah, if you choose to. <laughs> but share, click like and share, y'all, for me so we can pass this word of God on to many people, many people who may need it. Yeah. So, y'all, um, I wrote some stuff down. Like, like I said, some of you may be lonely. You know, you don't have anybody to spend this day with, spend Christmas with. And, you know, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it's just, to you, it's just another holiday. You know, that's fine. Well, this day that the Lord has given us, this day, if you don't have anybody to spend it with and you're lonely and you're feeling down, you know, because everybody else is having fun and spending time with family and friends and you just don't have anyone, seek God. You know, don't put your trust in man. Don't put your hope in man. Don't put your trust in other people. And when I say man, I'm talking about men, women. Don't put your trust in people. Put it in God. Because that's the only one we can trust, you know? Because he won't never let us down. <laughs> no, he will never let us down. Because God's ways is not our ways. His ways is not our ways. Hallelujah. And I thank God for that. You know, sometimes God will isolate us. He'll isolate us so he can get us to a place where we can only go to him and seek him. You know, ask him to do what it is that we desire to have done. So we won't look to our friends and family for the answers, you know. We'll seek him. So sometimes he let us get in a spot to where we have to be isolated, you know, just to seek him. And I just give him the praise, the honor, and glory for his goodness. For he is worthy to be praised. Because sometimes, even me, sometimes... I'll, I um, kind of start like wanting to call my friends and ask them for advice before I, you know, go to God. I'm human. But then the Holy Spirit will quicken my spirit and be like, no, -uh. no, 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 daughter. 
You need to come to me. <laughs> come to me. And I'll give you the answer that you, you know, you're looking for. So go to God. He'll give you the answer that you're looking for. He'll give you the answer that you're looking for. He might not answer you right then. Sometimes he will answer you right then. And then sometimes he won't. Sometimes he'll wait. You know, and let you go through what it is he's trying to let you go through. Because he's trying to grow you. He's trying to grow you in a certain area. He's trying to teach you how to be patient. You know, he's trying to teach you how to trust in him and just put you all in him. Believing in him only and no one else. <laughs> yeah. Because he does the same to me. He does the same to me. Even though I'm a woman of God, he still does the same thing to me. Because he's still teaching me and growing me. Growing me in areas that I need to grow me in. Areas that I didn't even know I needed to grow in and I needed to work on. But he know. You know, he knew me before he formed me in the womb of my mother. So, I just love him. You know, <laughs> God, will let, God will let us experience loneliness. Yeah. So, remember, just don't put the trust in, in other people. Trust in God. Seek him. Spend time with him. Yeah, because he only wants the best for us. He only wants the best for us. And um, he wants to give us his strength. Yeah, so we can press on. <laughs> so we can endure anything that comes at us. Yeah. And we can do it the right way. Not the worldly way, you know. So he wants to give us his wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment, and revelation. But we got to first seek him. Because he don't force himself on us. No, he's a loving God, a good God. He don't force himself on us. Oh, no, he won't do that. It's your choice. He'll let you make that choice, you know? Yeah. So, today may be a lonely day for some people, but seek God. You still have time. You still got time. <laughs> Go spend time with God. Yeah, get in a quiet spot and just spend time with God so you can hear from him. Tell him how you, you, know, how you feel. Tell him how you truly feel. Just like you talk to your friends, you know, go to him and talk to him like a friend or like a dad, like a mom, whatever you, you know, whoever you feel comfortable talking to, talk to God that way. Yeah. Because God loves us. Let me see. I have a scripture right here. God, he loves us. I have a scripture. Romans 5th chapter 8 verse. NLT Bible. The NLT version, it is, it says, but God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Yeah, Romans 5th chapter, 8 verse, NLT. That's New Living Translation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I know you feel tired. Like I say, I know you get tired because I get tired sometimes. I get tired and I'm tired of this, you know, this. The life, the life that we live, you know, things we have to endure and we have to go through in life. But God, he gives you strength. He gives you strength. And right here, and um, I'll read another scripture to you. Matthew, Matthew 11 chapter, 28 through 30 verses, ENCV. That's the Bible, ENCV. And it says, come to me, all of you who are tired and have heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Verse 29 says, accept my teachings and learn from me because I am gentle and humble in spirit and you will find rest for your lives. Verse 30, the burden that I ask you to accept is easy. The load I give you to carry is light. Yeah. God is good. <laughs> he's not gonna put no. He's not gonna put no more on us than we can bear. And I know sometimes it feel like, oh my God, Lord, do you think I'm that strong? Like, how strong do you think I am? <laughs> Cause I know I ask for that sometimes. But He knows. He knows your strength. He knows how much you can endure. Yeah, He won't put any more on you than you can bear. Yeah, because He is good. Like I said, God is good. He is good. Oh my. So, I have another one, Romans 5th chapter, 8 verse, NLT. Again, that's the same thing I read earlier. But God showed his great love for us 
by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Yeah. Just remember that. You know, we got to sacrifice. We got to sacrifice things sometimes. Even if that's having fun, spending time with family and friends, and spend time with Christ. Sacrifice and spend time with him so he can heal you on the inside. He can heal you on the inside, you know, and give you, feed you with his love and his strength. So you can endure anything. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. So I pray that this was a blessing, a blessing to y'all, you know, because he, he spoke to me today. He spoke to me today because I got kind of lonely. I got kind of down and sad a little bit, you know. Because I'm not around all of my family right now. It's the, years ago, it used to be every year family, we'd get together for every holiday. But you know, times have changed. And so now family, we don't all get together every holiday now. Some holidays, you know, some birthday, you know, some days, some special occasions, um, some different type of, um, you know, functions we all get together, but not every every holiday like we used to. So I got kind of sad and lonely, you know, because I was missing family. But the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit. Spend time with me. Go in there and make a video. Upload others. Upload, upload for others to understand that sometimes I let you be in a place of isolation so I can talk to you. So God, that's what he said, so he can talk to you. Sometimes he let us be in a place of isolation so he can talk to us, you know? Spend time with us, teach us, um, make us strong on the inside, yeah. So y'all, if you don't know God and you wanna, um, you wanna get to know him, you know? If you wanna repent of your sins and accept him as your Lord and Savior, I'm gonna say this prayer right here, the prayer of salvation, I'm gonna say it. And you can repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe you died and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and my wicked ways. I invite you to come into my heart and into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. So if you say that, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family brother our sister in Christ <laughs> so I'm going to read these scriptures I have some scriptures for you Romans 10 chapter 13 verse hold on let me make sure yeah Romans 10 chapter 13 verse NIV and it says everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved hallelujah everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved okay I have Romans 10 chapter 9 verse NIV, and it says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Yeah, hallelujah. And I also have Acts, Acts, second chapter, 38 through 39 verses, NASB, verse 38 says, Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus. Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit the promises for you and your children and for all who are far off for all whom the Lord our God will call yeah so when you so now that you accept that Christ as your Lord and Savior you said the prayer of salvation you have to go to a church and get baptized you know get baptized fully submerged dipped in the water you know Fully submerged. <laughs> yeah, get baptized. If you don't have a church, a home church, I attend Bethany World Prayer Center in Baker. You're welcome to come and fellowship. But if you don't live close around, pray. Ask the Holy Spirit. Ask God. Tell me where I need to go. Lord, send me to a church where I can feel the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. You know, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. I can feel him in the atmosphere, in the presence. Father, hallelujah. And he will. You speak to him. Spend time with him. Like we are talking about just now. He'll speak to you and let you know. Even if he send you confirmation from people. Invite you. 
But just remember, you have to test the spirit. Test the spirit. Because everybody will come to you and say, oh, you can come to church with me. Come to my church and we can serve God. Oh, come with me. We can serve God. You know, everybody who's talking about God not talking about the same God that I'm talking about. Alpha and Omega. Beginning and ending. <laughs> the I am. Yeah, I am. They're not talking about the same God. So you got to test the spirit. So you can read right here. 1 John 4 chapter, 1 through 6 verses, ESV. Read about testing the spirit because Jesus came. He was, he was born, you know, virgin, um, the Virgin Mary, she had him. He was born. He was a baby. He grew up a young man. He was spreading the word, sharing the gospel, you know, drawing others to Christ, making fishes of men, drawing people. Teaching them how to become fishers of men, yeah. Teaching them the word of God so they can go out and make other disciples, you know. Go out and draw others to Christ. So you got to test the spirit because if anybody say Jesus didn't come in the flesh, that's not true because he did. He came in the flesh. He took our sins upon himself. Even though he was no sin, he took our sins upon himself. Yeah, he died and he rose for us. So now we can go to, go to the Father in Jesus' name. Yeah, we got to go to the Father through Jesus. So that's why we say, in the name of Jesus. Whatever we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. And also read about Acts. No, also read Acts. Okay, I was telling you about testing the Spirit. It's 1 John 4th chapter, 1 through 6 verses, ESV. But read Acts. That's about the spirit of divination. Yeah, spirit of divination. Acts 16 chapter, 16 through 18 verses. ESV. No, A N A S B. <laughs> yeah, Acts 16 chapter, 16 through 18 verses. N A S B. The spirit of divination, y'all, because everybody don't like I said, everybody don't believe in God and they they praying and having all other little little gods, you know. And that's witchcraft and, you know, satanic spirits and they're doing all type of stuff. So you just have to make sure, read about that. Pray and ask God to fill you, to teach you, to let you know, to fill you with discernment. So you'll know when somebody is coming to you with that spirit of divination, you know, with the Antichrist spirit, with that, that spirit that's not of God. So you can, um, he'll give you, he'll fill you up with discernment and stuff. So you'll know. But if you have any prayer requests, you can go to my Gmail. Um, and I'm going to put it in the description link with all this other stuff. So you can go back and read the scriptures. Yeah. But please click like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. And because I have more scriptures, you know, videos and more encouraging words. It'll be a blessing to you. It will be a blessing to you. And I also have a podcast. You know, my Ambassador for Christ podcast. The same as my YouTube channel is Ambassador for Christ. And so I just pray this was a blessing to you. Merry Christmas to you and your families. Oh, and happy holidays to those who don't celebrate Christmas. You know, just a happy blessed day to those who don't celebrate nothing. No holidays. <laughs> have a happy blessed day. <laughs> yeah, to you and your families. So... I love y'all so, so much, and my heart goes out to all the ones who are, you know, just at home, didn't have anybody to spend time with today, but I love you, and I pray this is a blessing to you, because I just had to come on here and just spend some time with you, so you will have somebody to spend time with, which is me, <laughs> so many blessings to you and your family, and I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that you just bless the nation, Father, keep us all in your will, Father, let your anointing fall upon us all, Father. I thank you, Father, for your word. I pray whoever this word is for, Father, give them an ear to hear and a heart to receive, Father. Let it fall on good ground, Abba. Good ground. Hallelujah. And um, I also pray for the sick, the shut-in, and the incarcerated. Father, and I pray that our all governmental authority that you give us, Father, they lead us in integrity, fairness, and truth. In Jesus' name, Father, cover our homes, our families, our friends. Cover us all, Father. We even pray for our enemies, Father, that you change their hearts so they can be more like you. 
In Jesus' name, we pray. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. A blessed day and a wonderful day to all. To those who don't celebrate, no holidays, no, um, <laughs> no Christmas. I love y'all. Until the Lord quickens my spirit to um, come up here and put something else on my channel, on the channel that he blessed me with, I'll be just keep praying for y'all and keeping y'all in my prayers. And y'all do the same for me. So many blessings to you and your family on December 25th, 2021. Bye, y'all.